Well, now let the, uh, the Mesa Big Shots just keep rolling right on out. Let's bring, to the, uh, let's bring to the stage right now. He's the city manager of the great city of Mesa, Arizona. Please welcome, we haven't seen him for about a year, but he's back, Mr. Chris Brady. Chris, come on up. Welcome, sir. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Well, good. It's been a year since we saw you at uh, Fiesta Mall. That's right, and I'm still here. It's good. <laughs> and we have, by the way, we have Chris to either uh, thank or blame for having us on uh, Channel 11. How did you make that happen? You know, whatever Sally asks, we give. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how she became president? I thought that's what she, uh, yes. Sally uh, asked, and I said, whatever you want. You need to uh, come up with a better wish list, Sally. <laughs> we love Channel 11, but there's other things, too. Let's, let's get those down. Uh, good to have you here. Thank uh, you. Refresh for people that maybe haven't seen you before. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background. and Sure. So I've been uh, here in Mesa for seven years, uh, which has been a wonderful experience. As we've gone through highs and lows and uh, a lot of great things going on. Before coming to Arizona, I was in Texas, so I worked there for over... 16 years in cities such as San Antonio and Houston. So, um, but I'm glad to be here in Arizona. What's, uh, what do you see on the horizon in the next seven years? If you had a crystal ball, what do, you, what do you see happening in Mesa? Well, I really think that we have, if you would, begun a trajectory in Mesa of a lot of great things that are happening. And I think we're starting to see, and I think it, the community is starting to see uh, the changes that are happening in Mesa and, and a lot of great things. And they were just talked about. I mean not only talk about Eastmark and what's happening out there, but if you notice on that plan or that map, there's the airport, you know, Mesa Gateway Airport. So I see Mesa Gateway Airport, um, uh, the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport, I also get that Phoenix part, um, <laughs> continue to grow and expand, and we are seeing tremendous uh, interest in that area, not only from the activity on the airport with passenger service, which exceeded 1.3 million last year, which was incredible, considering that you know, three or four years ago, it was much less than that, it was a fraction of that. But we're seeing jobs come in there. Uh, we're seeing uh, individuals set up for jobs. So I, what I hope for Mesa is to continue to see the expansion of um, the brand of Mesa as a recognized great community and attracting a lot of great jobs. And most importantly, really, is expanding the businesses, the small businesses, the medium-sized businesses that are already here and expanding them and growing larger in the city. You know, obviously those of us in Arizona have, we know what Mesa is all about. When you get outside of the state, what do people, when they hear Mesa, Arizona, what's, what do they envision? You know, the first thing that they will remember or recognize, and this is kind of goes to the point just before, one of the most recognizable associations that Mesa has is the Chicago Cubs oh. in spring training. Um, and yesterday at, this, at the game, I met with a reporter from Forbes magazine, USA Today newspaper, um, another, and a beat reporter from uh, the, the Bay Area. And that's why they were here. They didn't come here for our beautiful weather and our citrus and our, you know, our copper, but they came here for Major League Baseball and spring training. And for them, it was just an incredible experience to see that setting. Uh, so that's kind of our recognition. Now, I think we're starting to do other things. We're really getting recognized this unique opportunity where we've brought major universities into the downtown. That's getting a lot of attention nationally. What we're doing out at the airport is also obviously getting attention because we have flights going from Mesa, Arizona to Chicago to Dallas to, you know, major um, cities across the country. So we're starting to, that's starting to become a recognized brand for us. So would you say the three things are uh, the Cubs, the uh, education yes. coming here, and probably Mesa Morning Live. Those are the three things. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, not necessarily in that order, not necessarily in that order. I mean. Exactly. <laughs> well, well, great. So are, is part of your job uh, or your, your uh, passion to go out and educate people around the country about opportunities in Mesa? I think the first thing we have to do is be able to walk the walk and do it. And then once, and I think we are starting to really make, do some incredible things. And then absolutely, we're not shy or bashful uh, about talking about the great things that are, that are happening in Mesa. And I think you see that as an aggressive part of who we are and what we do, that um, we think uh, we have a lot to learn from across the country, but we have a lot to uh, show um, and, and be able to talk about the great things that are happening here. Great. Well, I bet you these people here that are uh, proud Mesa residents might have a question or two for you. 
Um, Mr. Brady is here. Any questions? When are you going to get this opportunity? <laughs> yes. Maybe you could repeat the question. Yeah, so the, the question was, having come from Texas to Arizona and, and, rec and seeing, uh, I think the comment was made that business, some businesses have gone from Arizona to Texas and kind of comparing what we need to have. You know, first of all, you need to have the attitude they have in Texas. And I will tell you, the attitude in Texas is nobody's better than we are. And we will, and there's, you know, why wouldn't you come to Texas? And it, you know, we joke about it, but it is real. Um, if we were in Texas today, you would, um, anywhere you go, you would have the Texas flag. You would have this attitude that you're in Texas. Um, Arizona is kind of getting there, but you've got to be able to deliver. Texas isn't afraid, and I was in, when I was in Texas working for the city of San Antonio, we competed for and got a Toyota a manufacturing plant to locate in Texas. And it took the cooperation from the state, the governor's office, uh, the county um, and the city, and they all had to come to the table and make a, um, and contribute and work together as a team. I mean, there was literally uh, sitting in the table. We had a governor's office representatives from, from the county. Um, you don't see that quite the same here in Arizona, um, and so and that commitment to really uh, committing resources and, and being able to reach out to businesses um, is something that Arizona I think is starting to figure out because I hear all of these state senators and representatives going to Texas and learning about it, but it really does take an attitude and a commitment that that's your priority. Along those lines, here's a suggestion. I just, you know, I'm, I've got a gift. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> maybe a, a, a new catchphrase for Arizona would, or for the city would be, don't mess with Mesa. I like it. <laughs> I like it. It's so close. It's just one letter off that's from right. mess and Mesa. Mesa. No mess with that. Yeah. No mess with Mesa. No you're, messing with me, so. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. We'll use um, that. <laughs> we've got time for one more question for Mr. Brady. Yes. Okay, what Susan. Kind of university is A big mess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ties in with a mess with Mesa. Uh, one, one of the commitments that we have made as a, as a council, the, the city council, and we've laid out a plan. Um, is to continue to reinvest in the city's infrastructure. And unfortunately, that takes a lot of effort. We rip up a lot of streets, but we have to do that because, by, but when we put all that water and sewer line under, underneath, I think in that case it's a water line, um, it, it then creates an investment for the long term. And, and that's a very, it's a huge inconvenience. But one of the things that we have done, one of our strategic initiatives, if you would, that a lot kind of goes unnoticed in this community, and, and it's not, it's understandable why it does, is Mesa's commitment to, we own and operate all of the major utilities in downtown and across the city, water and sewer. Now, why is that important? Well, first of all, just from a daily quality of life, it's important. But that is the reason that we were able to get First Solar. The city of Mesa did not hand out cash incentives for jobs or whatever, but we were able to put together a plan and execute a plan that put in the water and sewer and roads that was able then to get someone like First Solar to come because they saw, wow, that's what we need. And so doing something like that and going back to university is that's our commitment. It's an inconvenience, but by putting in and upgrading our infrastructure, it is both, one, good for residents because they know the long term they'll have a sustainable uh, utility, but it is a huge attraction for these big, sophisticated businesses because that's what they want to know is they have access to those kinds of uh, infrastructure that will make their businesses successful. Great question. You know, they always talk about shovel-ready jobs. Haven't we moved past the shovel? Can't we use some heavy equipment? Backhoe, backhoe yeah. ready jobs. Yeah, let's, we can. We, we gotta upgrade this that. Stuff done. Upgrade that a little bit. <laughs> well, we thank you. We thank know you're you. a busy man, and uh, you. you've got a big, uh, powerful city to, to manage. So, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for thank taking you. the time to stop by. Thanks, Thanks Chris Mark. Brady. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it.